Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. April 20th, 2025. Happy Easter to those who celebrate it. I want to speak about something that is very important when it comes to motor units. Okay. The conventional wisdom, the experts all over the world, these, and I'm not talking about the PhDs. I'm talking about the wannabe experts on YouTube. You must do one rep max or four reps of 90 percent of your max and you will activate fast twitch fibers wow so what so what look at these guys that lift power lift a thousand pounds 800 pounds tell them to move tell them to move they trip over their own feet okay why they activate fast switch fibers it doesn't mean anything activating fast switch fibers means squat that's Researchers, scientists are looking at the wrong place because they clearly say we have no way today of slowing down the loss of motor units out of their own mouths. They cannot slow down the loss of motor units. Why is that? Let me explain. Just because you activate the fast twitch fibers or recruit the most, whatever you do to recruit the fast twitch fibers, it doesn't mean you stay young. You got 70, 80 year olds that are powerful, strong. When you tell them to move, they can't move. They have no agility, no mobility. And, and I don't mean this in a bad way. They aged just like the average 99.9999% of the world. <laughs> you know, I'm just laughing because you got people are confused. When you activate fast switch fibers, scientists are looking, looking in the wrong place. When fast switch fibers are activated, why are they activated? How come they don't ask this? They just say, well, this exercise activates fast switch fibers. So all you people that want to activate fast switch fibers, you must do that. No, you're not activating anything. You think you're activating. The, the, the experiment looks like the fast switch fibers act, being activated, but that's about it. There are a whole bunch of steps above the fast switch fibers is the last in the uh, hierarchy. There are a whole bunch of steps before that that need to be optimized for your body to remain neutral, for you to maintain that torque, that's cutting on a dime, that to remain youthful. That's the difference. Scientists don't know how to slow down the loss of motor units because they are looking in the wrong place. And that's what my book is going to break down. And by the way, this is not what I'm about to disclose is not not an opinion. It's not an opinion. It will be based on scientific evidence. All my things are based on scientific evidence. In addition, my book will also take you to the end of life, that as we age, our movement starts to change, and surprisingly, it begins to resemble how we move as babies, that clumsy, unsteady way toddlers walk. We slowly return to that pattern if we don't actively train our nervous system. This happens because the tiny connections between our nerves and muscles, called the motor units, begin to weaken and die off. When that happens, our ability to control movement fades. Muscles don't fire as smoothly or as fast. Balance, coordination, and strength all start to slip. That's why preserving these motor units through specific training isn't just about staying strong, you know, lifting 500 pounds. It's about keeping your brain and body speaking the same language. So you move with youth and control no matter what your age. I just want to reiterate, there are a lot of steps, a lot of things happen before fast twitch fibers are activated. Here, let me give you, let me give you an example. Where does movement come from? Where do, did it originate? It originated in your womb before your brain was even developed. That means your brain did not tell your body to move. If you go back to the very beginning, your body, your motor units were already there before your brain developed and your body moved. What caused it to move? Don't worry, I will disclose all this. I go back to the very beginning. I moved the way I do, not because of genetics, not because of luck, believe me, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to give you this message because the book I am about to disclose is not going to be anything like you've ever seen. And I mean this, you'll see what I mean. And I will be giving you exercises for each 
section of the hierarchy with barcodes, private videos, hit the barcode, it takes you to the private video. Then you gotta put your email, blah, 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 and you get in. That's the only way I'm doing this. Oh, and there's one other thing I like to say. He's doing TRT, he's doing steroids. I'm not doing none of that crap. You are not aware this stuff destroys your physical function. It doesn't help it at all. It has nothing to do with motor units. It does not help. It may give you muscle mass, you know, make you bigger. But movement, there is no shortcuts. There is no trick. There is no secret concoction. Well, there is. Well, it's not a secret concoction. Well, I've been having this in my book, too. There's certain supplements proven in human studies that I take for each step of the muscle contraction. But anyway, I don't want to get into all that. All this will be in my book. Anyway, enough talking. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Easter. See you soon in my next video, which will be on IGF, because you need IGF to maintain motor unit integrity. It is one of the most important things that you must increase. And I'm going to prove to you in my next video how they manipulated the IGF studies to make you believe something that's not there. IGF does not lower, does not reduce lifespan at all. You have been duped, and I'm going to show you 100% evidence how they manipulated the studies. See you soon in my next video.